Okay, we are at um, section 17.5, the temperature variation of resistance. And let's bring up PowerPoint. And here we go. All right, the, resist the resistivity and so the resistance of a conductor depends on the temperature of the metal. For most metals, resistivity increases with increasing temperature. Let's think about how this works. As the temperature of the material increases, its constituent atoms vibrate with greater amplitudes. As a result, the electrons find it more difficult to get by those atoms. Think about trying to walk across a crowded room when people are moving around versus when they're standing still. It's a similar situation with the electron. The resistance of a carbon filament, of a carbon filament incandescent light bulb shown in the figure uh, increases with temperature. Over a limited temperature range, the resistivity of most metals increases linearly with increasing temperature according to the expression given here. Uh, where's, there you go. Uh, that's uh, resistivity equals the uh, rho zero times one plus alpha times T minus T zero. Okay. Um, Rho is the resist, resistivity at some room at some temperature T in Celsius degrees. Rho zero is the resist, resistivity at some reference temperature T zero, which is we usually take to be 20 degrees C. And alpha is a parameter called the temperature coefficient of resistivity. Because, um, because the resistance of a conductor with a uniform cross section is proportional to the resistivity, um, Oops. Uh, we can write the temperature variation of resistance as shown. Uh, the resistance is equal to R sub zero times one plus alpha uh, T minus T zero. We just did uh, substitution for, uh, with R substituted in for, for uh, rho. Okay. And here, now they don't have it highlighted. The table gives the temperature coefficients uh, for various materials. The interesting negative values for alpha for semiconductors arise because these materials possess weakly bound charge carriers that become free to move and contribute to the current as the temperature rises. Um, okay, so we're, they've got the blue column highlighted, but it really should be, uh, I mean, the resistivity column highlighted should be the temperature coefficient of resistivity that's highlighted in this slide. Uh, and you can see the negatives are uh, carbon, germanium, and silicon. Okay, this uh, concludes our discussion of temperature variation. Next, we'll, discover sec we'll discuss section 17.6, electrical energy and power.